Hello once again. Welcome to the New World Premier League Highlight Show. We are now into the second half of the season. Here are the games. Here are the highlights. We start things off at the Woodsdorm Porker Stadium where Hamworth battle in form Mantridge victorious and look who can't sco stop scoring once again. It's Ricky Yeoveo, header near post from Lewis Gavey. Manchurch have goal scorers of their own on the counter. Kevin McGigan finds Gope Kansen to net his ninth of the season, and we're all square. But back come the Boers, and here's a striker that's coming into form himself, Aller Maratandez. So Sama Sikowell's through ball that allows him to finish this with quality. Thirty-second minute, Hairboy takes the corner for the Fallen Angels, and Jack Little Kumpen heads it off the crossbar and in for his first goal of the season. Second half, however, was all Hamworth and all Ricky Yevayo. Maritandez crosses it in near post header once more, three to two. They link up once more. A few minutes later, Yeovayo gets his hat trick. He now has 25 goals this season. Maritandes would get a second as well, and Hamworth win 5-2. to two. Well, two sides looking to challenge for top spots at sixth place. Reen getting started with last week's hero, Rianal Dobius, setting up the first goal for Jack Buddy, pretty much on a platter, and it's 1-0 after five minutes. But fifth place, Bug Brood have shown they can contend and they break on the counter. Ryan Valor twinces through ball to Zyman Spro. Goal number 11 for him and we are tied. Just two minutes later, the same link, Rian Aldobius over the top. Goalkeeper Denver Quitchard comes out to challenge and it's an easy chip over the keeper for Buddy to take the lead again. But just two minutes after that, Bug Brood tie it up yet again. Levio Roberts curling ball in to Ryan Voller twinses his 15th goal. End to end stuff, stretching the field at both ends. Reiner back on the foot, on the back foot again, and Bug Brood hit once more quickly in the 16th minute. It's suddenly three to two to Bug. Simon Sparrow's second. The cross comes in from Nick Rambert Barling. Quiet down for a bit. Known goal by Tedra Law gives a cushion to Bug Brood. And Albert Zamba makes it 5-2 in a runaway second half for fifth place Bug Brood. They win 5-2. Get this stat. Watching Chester City are two games without a win. It seems impossible, at least from what we saw in the first half of the season. But they travel to Short Castle Bridge to take on the Herons, who are unbeaten in five. And Nathan Cannon is part of that reason. Took a bit of to get the opening goal, but on the break, Kieran Mendy finds Cannon. Keeper comes out, gets slalomed, and Shortcastle take the lead. But if there's the one thing that watching Chester City can do, it's score goals. And who do you turn to? Kiko Berry. Diagonal long ball from Fabian Gormat. He ties it up at the half. Oh, they get ready for a roller coaster, folks. Minute 63, Tare Bombavac. Takes the lead on a second chance rebound tap in. It's two to one to the Herons, but not so fast. Watching Chester City come back with the pressure three minutes later, Adam Eastmoan to Kiko Berry, who follow, volleys it in. And how can you stop a class finish like that? Well, it seems you can't. Off a free kick from Shortcastle, here come the Swans. Danny Pognell from the center line finds Berry for the hat trick to give Watching Chester their first lead of the game. But they only hold that lead for a minute right from the restart. Here comes Shortcastle. David Butlett has space to find Sid Bowie, who breaks away from Andre Filakulinwell and slots home the equalizer. Whew, what a game. 37 total shots from both sides. Watching Chester City drop points for a third consecutive game. It's a shocking home loss for Abergrudge United. Their four-game win streak is broken by relegation battling Great Church and all its old boys. Louis Banga's 13th goal plus Claro Van Vinti's third of the season. 
were enough as Abergrudge's 11 shots only produced a consolation. Third straight win for Reimp away from home, and they did it late to come from behind against Blutton United. Carlin Bapakini with both goals. He's now at 15 this season. Terry Lama posts a clean sheet for Brune and Keith Kushkis was put to work for Tudley Town as it ended 1-0 in a game not short of chances. Brune creep up on Watchchester City by another two points with this win. Looking grim for Butch Pudiver, Pegasus, a draw, and now a loss to relegation rivals in Cuthbert's Lane Athletic. With an early three-goal blitz, they're now unbeaten in their last six. Hurley United bounced back after losing their last two games to beat lowly Chooseworth 2-1 at Kingsmeet Road. Chris hudson Momar and Danny Falladman with the goals for the home side. Remy J. Crawford only a consolation for Chooseworth. It's a fifth straight loss for the Schooners of Cumble Sumsterworth as they continue to plummet. Gareth Cannon and two goals from Alex Iachi Shapo gave Raketown the win. They haven't lost in their last five, 27 shots in total, plenty of chances for both sides. And the darker shade of green prevailed as Marshall Mops defeated God Montreth Greenford thanks to a Frank Fieldenhan hat trick. He alone had 10 of Marshall Mops' 17 shots. That brings his total to nine goals this season. After those scores, Bugbrood are back up above Shortcastle in fourth place. Hamworth are up two spots to sixth, and look who's in tenth place. It's the defending champions, Rake Town. At the bottom, Manchurch Victoria has dropped to thirteenth. St. Cuthbert's Lane Athletic up three spots to fifteenth. Cumble Sumsterworth and Tudley Town plummet into the bottom three. And with the Division 2 scores, let's see the tables. Clifftown replaced Knock Brannig in 3rd place. Ashton Fodborn all the way up from 11th to 6th place. And at the bottom, Ladonian Fall and Panwich Athletic are up 2 spots, the 13th and 14th, surpassing Pidley and Gootham. North Amiens move up to 18th, still below Odd Downians in the relegation zone. And the third division tables look like this. Roggerstahl are up two spots to fifth. Gilchmith dropped two as well to eighth place. At the bottom, Yeemington jumped four spots up to 12th place. Almondul up three to 15th. And Chiblin Athletic down two to 17th. Those are the games. We'll see you again next week. Goodbye for now.